After my last attempt of building a mini ITX water cooled, at the beginning hardline tube, then it became soft tubing and it was a fail. And I had a, a, a real sour taste in my mouth, you know, like... No, so I, I, I can't leave it like that. I, I need to do something. Okay, so we all know how the LZX8 case... Okay, so we all know how it ended up with the LZX8 case. It is just right now with the, the hardware that I have impossible to do a, a hardline water cooled PC in there. Oh, softline. Truth is, I still have the water cooled 3060 Ti that is just sitting there and I really wanted to use it. But I also have a ton of other gear that I never used that I bought for the LZX8 project that was just never used. So I think right now is the perfect opportunity to start a new project which hopefully will work and we can utilize all of this stuff that was never used before. So the idea is to go with the Nuvolo Bog case which A was really easy to build with compared to any other my mini ITX case actually. In general it was just a really pleasant experience and I had a lot of space for all kinds of stuff so we will we will go with it, we will try and hopefully we won't fail. Is it this one? So this is going to be the heart of, of this whole project. The Alpha Cool Ice Bear Solo. A water block slash pump slash reservoir combo. Everything in one small package with just a single PVM. Oh no, three pin. With a three pin. Why is this three pin? Okay, with a 3-pin header to control everything. I think this is amazing if it works. I have no idea how well it works. I know that there are like two different Ice Bear versions, like the, the really small one without the reservoir and then the big one, this with reservoir. And I think it's an amazing product if it works. It's, it should be the perfect fit for a case like this or like mini ITX builds in general. We will see, I don't know, but I, I, my hopes are really high for this one. It was very unfortunate, I wanted to use it in, inside the LZX8 build, but it just it just didn't fit, it was, it was too high. For the rest of the build, we are going pretty general, and I need to explain stuff a bit here. So, first off, we are going AMD, we are doing a uh, Ryzen 5600X, because it's a good general CPU, let's be honest, but most importantly, it's not that hard, and no, not being that hard is really important for this project and we will get uh, in a minute to why. Um, on the other hand we have a ASRock B550 Mini ITX motherboard because why not? I need some board uh, and then we will pair it with a crucial P1 500 gig SSD just to have something. Oh and I forgot that. Uh, yeah, two sticks of uh, G-Skill Trident Z RGB 3200. Yeah, why not? Okay, the other very important portion of uh, this whole build will be this uh, Asus RTX 3060 Ti Dual Mini OC. Yes, very long name, featuring that Bixby block that we used a couple of videos ago and we used in, inside the, the whole LZX8 video. Uh, unfortunately, the card was never used before. Uh, no, as the water block, so I don't know how well this works. I don't know if this works, and I really hope to find out. So this is why we do the whole thing here, just so I can use this card. Okay, now on the whole heat thing. I am still planning to use a single radiator for the whole build. This is why I am so cautious about how hot the CPU and the GPU are getting, and that's why I'm happy to go with the 3060 instead of something bigger, just to save as much as possible on the cooling, because I, I frankly, I don't have the cooling potential. And I, I don't know how well this will turn out. We will see. I'm hoping for the best. And I have really, really high hopes uh, because of how the, the bog case is built, where you have that spot where you can theoretically stack your stuff onto brackets and I, I don't know if it will work but I am hoping to do a push I am hoping to do a push pull with two of my uh, NFA 12 X25s I don't know if it will fit especially because we still have that really high water block pump reservoir combo going on but if it fits this may be enough to cool both the CPU and the GPU 
I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we will we will see about that. Let's let's just start. Oh, I love this. Just oh, it is so easy to work with this case. Okay, let's begin with oh, um, very important little thing. Uh, so Seasonic wanted to help us out on this one, and they sent over their new Focus SPX 750 watt 80 platinum power supply, and it's an exp uh, SPX size power supply, which is amazing. And I'm and I'm generally just shocked how far we've come with these mini ITX power supplies. Like I remember where where having 450 watts was considered big, and now I have here a a really tiny little thing uh, pressing out 750 watts. Like, I, I don't see a reason why this will not become this the norm in a couple of years from now. I, I really believe that. And thank you to Seasonic for sending it over. I think it's amazing and it will come really handy in this project. Especially because uh, in my past experience with Seasonic power supplies is that they are really silent. So I'm really happy to have this one going. <laughs> While doing my uh, Nouveau Lobok review, I, I said, or the, the, the manual of the case said, that you are building the PC while you are assembling the case. And that's true, but uh, once you take everything out, you can also just reassemble the PC without actually really touching the, the case. It, is, it will stay in one piece. You don't need to disconnect every little piece and then put it back together. Power supply in. Okay, let's prepare the motherboard. Okay, uh, yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Ryzen 5600X. Oh, no, yeah, now it's the time where we need to put some uh, very motivating music about this. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, amazing. Okay, uh, AMD, here we have it. AMD, what's this? I have no freaking clue. Okay, if I remember correctly, the motherboard should be like turned this, or like, like this way. Yes, yes, that is the case. So what we want is to have the, like this, so what we want is to have the Alpha Cool logo be like this. So, we need to put these brackets on, like this. Oh yeah, this is this is already going pretty well here. No, not no mistake in the first two minutes. Great. Oh yeah, and while I'm here, let's quickly put in the M.2 SSD. Okay, can somebody explain to me why we have exactly one nut left? Just one, nothing else, just one nut and these two, they are not used a single time throughout the whole uh, installation manual and if I look on the on the package content listing here, these are not on there. What the heck? So I do not like the whole alpha pool mounting thing. It's the same one they are using on um, on that XPX water block that I also have from them. And it's basically for me, it's too many variables uh, to have an equal mounting. Like you are putting all of this together. And so I am turning this by hand for each screw. And I can never be 100% sure that each screw is screwed in exactly as tight as the other ones. Um, and then I'm putting all of this into the AMD backplate with the screwdriver, which means that I have a second variable where I cannot guarantee that all of the screws are um, uh, have the same torque on them. And I think that's bad. Like if you have one variable, like 99% of other water blocks or, or, or AO scooters, whatever, uh, you have one variable that you can feel it. But but in this case, I have to 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 turn this and then I have to turn the whole thing into something else and it's just it's just too much. You see and now I, I, I mounted it down and I am really unsure if I if it is equally mounted down. It's I, I, I don't like this. Okay now I just torqued it down to the very end in uh, in hopes that the the springs that are in here will somehow equalize it. I, I don't know. 
Um, something else about the uh, the whole water block that I um, do not really appreciate <laughs> is this cable. Like, who thought that you have a, a beautiful water block and then you put the only cable at the top? Like, the, the part where you are looking, who thought this was a good idea? You, every side would be good, just not the top. <laughs> and this is so dumb. <laughs> Why would you? That's kind of useful. No, but the idea is really stupid. I don't know why you would come up with something like this. Do you see how easy it is to build in this case? I, I must say it really grew on me. I thought it was good in the beginning, but now we're doing like a, a fifth build in here. I think it's amazing. A really underappreciated case. And I know that uh, Nuvolo is also making uh, water block pump uh, combos and I believe I uh, could have uh, contacted them before I, I did this project just to get one because now I have like a Nuvolo case and I'm using a alpha cool water block on there which um, I, I understand if somebody at Nuvolo will be pissed about that. Okay, before I put in any any tubing and all, I think now is the perfect time to connect all of the cables because I, I do believe that later on uh, it will be too, too fiddly. So I will just connect everything now and afterwards we will see if I can even make the notches fit at all. I would be so disappointed if this doesn't work now. And one for the CPU. Did they not include like a cable with a single PCIe? Oh yeah, a couple of weeks ago I started to organize uh, the studio way more. So now I have a box with bad looking cables. And yes, there is a, a box with good looking cables too. I'm so stupid. It, it was like next to me. Oh, well, looks good enough for now. Let's have a look at that radiator um, and fans. So, as usual, when I'm recording, my camera shut off because I kind of always forget to put it into charger. Um, but okay, in the meantime, while I was uh, waiting for my camera to charge, I did a bit of eye measuring and I found out something quite important. Um, I will not be able to do a push-pull config. It will not fit, mainly because the, um, the tubes will be coming out at the top, meaning that they will hit the fan or the back of the fan, which will just not work. But what will work is just one fan and have it on the outside, so pushing the air through the radiator and then I have that 140 millimeter with uh, 120 millimeter holes like 12, 13, 14 millimeter thick fan which will be going here and this one will be pulling the air out of the case. Uh, so yeah, we will have just one fan and uh, one fan that will just take out the heat and I just hope for the best and that this will somehow work. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> we will see about that. But uh, I think we will leave it now here because the next step would be to put in the radiator and uh, at the same time it's basically time to put on the tubes because I, I will do it kind of at the same time. Uh, so yeah, this was for today it for this project. I will leave it here and I will start in the, in the evening or tomorrow, I don't know, for part two. So yeah, make sure to be subscribed for, the, for part number two and Maybe more, I don't know how quickly we proceed. But yeah, if you don't want to miss part 2, make sure to be subscribed. Maybe come onto the Discord, there you will get the latest news and stuff. And uh, yeah, hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.